Huge news for me, guys. This has just characterized my geek life. Poor internet. And finally, after paying uh, BT a uh, couple of grand and waiting about uh, nine or 10 months, my parents have got fiber optic. They upgraded from FTTC, fiber to the cabinet, which meant the last mile was copper and it was terrible. And now they have fiber to the premises, also known as fiber to the home, and they have a fiber connection right to the home. And now the connection is finally stable. I can FaceTime my parents and actually see them and not suffer from dropouts and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. So you can, you can see that our upload here was something like 0 0.7 at the best of times, and now it's a steady 20. And obviously the download has gone from something like 10 to, to something like 79. You might be wondering why is the, the line asymmetrical? I mean, that, that is just basically the product that we bought from BT OpenReach. BT OpenReach pretty much controls internet in the UK. They do have different products. You can, you, you can pay more and get a higher speed and a higher upload speed. But this is the one I think that's suitable for my parents. I mean, they're not crazy, crazy internet users in the first place, really. I just wanted to be able to communicate with them in a, on a stable line. So I did, uh, you know, the geeky things. I did an iPerf 3 to, to check that the speeds are the speeds. Um, I got smoke ping running. You can, you can see that, like, for example, um, like ping times to Google DNS, they used to range between, I don't know, 40 and 60 milliseconds. I mean, that's crazy. There was packet loss, you can, where, there's, where there's smoke, there's fire, and now it's, it's down to about 12 milliseconds. I mean, I, I must say, here in Singapore, I have about one millisecond to Google D DNS. I don't know about you guys, but so I was a little, little surprised to see 12 milliseconds, but you know, the, the routing, if you used um, what, my trace route, the routing is a bit bizarre. I think it's BT OpenReach, right? Whatever, they, it's their network, that's how it is. Yeah, so before the upload channel with FTTC used to get sort of constrained. If you're up, if you if you were like backing up your photos to the cloud, it would just crap out the internet connection. So now we don't have to worry about that. You know, all these like weird things where there was crazy packet loss. Now it's now the the fiber graph, as you can see, looks very clean and nice. So yeah. Uh, I also itemized the costs ongoing. I didn't uh, go through the I have, you know link above for the video about what I paid to get this going, paying about seven pound less. There was one thing that we ran into, like the so when when they got the upgrade, I obviously updated the microtix and all the rest of it, and then their uh, Giga set, their VoIP line just stopped working. My parents are you know they they need a phone right? They talk with their friends with a phone. I know that sounds crazy, but it wasn't working. It was dropping out. And I was thinking, wait a minute, the internet connection has improved. Why is it going down? Why, why is it unstable? I, I contacted our service provider, Andrews and Arnold. They couldn't figure it out. Turns out I was just browsing through a Facebook feed and I saw a Microtech post with someone complaining about the very same problem. Would you believe it? Some sort of um, uh, VoIP issue on their Microtech. And uh, since then, um, I've gone to the forums and discovered that if you go, this is this is crazy, right? A stable release, a stable release of Ruto OS on Microtech is resulting in VoIP dropouts. Uh, 6.48, anyway, if you search for VoIP, you'll, you'll see people, not, I'm not the only one that has a problem, or my parents are not the only one with, with a problem. Anyway, besides that little hiccup, it's, it's a joyous thing. It's an absolute joyous thing. I can now uh, get security cam footage of, you know, I think the security of my parents' farm has gone up because now I can actually, you know, get footage off <laughs> to the cloud. And um, I can see my parents, you know, okay, they are old and wrinkly and all that stuff. Um, but it is amazing and I'm, it, and, and now if I ever go back to Cornwall from Singapore, I can look forward to having a working connection where I can actually upload and do some work without 
being hugely frustrated. You know, I used to be one of these Quake World players back in the day in Praise Farm. And the line was so unstable. Like, I used to just have to drop out of games. You know, I was a high ping bastard, a high ping bastard with a with an unstable line. It used to just, just ruin my life. And now with the fiber to the home, fiber to the premises, I mean, we're still actually messing around with BT vouchers and all that, but, but finally, finally, fiber. It's just a dream come true. Now, I really wish, I hope, there's no direct flights between Singapore and UK anymore. I'm really looking forward to seeing my parents now. Really looking forward to them. Um, and, and visiting Cornwall because it's going to be it's going to be a much better place to to hang out now. See you guys. Bye. Please like the video and whatever. Jeez, you know the drill.